Pixie Lane says, compared to Elvis Merz Lickens, Oliver, Oliver Bjorkstrand hasn't had as much hype in Columbus of late, but he has 11 points in his past six games, including nine goals. He's on pace for nearly 60 points this year, 27 points in 38 games, so 60-point pace. Mm -hmm. Is he a good candidate to become a late-blooming star? Yeah, it, it's interesting because Oliver Bjorkstrand had a tremendous junior career with the Portland Winterhawks of the WHL. He's great at the World Juniors for Denmark, and he was a big-time scorer. I think what we're seeing here is a player that came into an organization in Columbus that was really deep in its forwards and played a, a very heavy game. Um, but also, he's a, he's a slight-framed guy. He's like six foot, 177 pounds now. Obviously, he's put on pounds and muscles since coming into the league. He's 24 right now. I suppose you could call him a late blooming star. Um, for me, it's just a matter of we always saw the potential, but it was going to take a while to get there because of his frame. And also, you know, now you're getting opportunity in Columbus as that roster has changed over the years. You got injuries. Um, things have sort of opened up in that regard. So I, for me, I see a case of a maturing young player getting the right opportunities. And obviously for Columbus, uh, this is fantastic news. I, I mostly agree. You know, it, it, Bjorkstrand always had pretty good pedigree. It's not like he was a first-round pick, but he was someone who rose quickly, became a really prolific junior scorer. And I know in our office we were all quite high on him, and he was regularly on my, you know, fantasy hockey early season sleeper list for several seasons. He's picking a great year to bust out because Columbus needs him so badly uh, after the losses they had uh, um, personnel-wise in the summer. Um, looking at his numbers, so of course during this hot streak, the six game, nine goal and six game, he's scoring on 37.5% of his shots. That's obviously not sustainable, but it's a hot streak. That's understandable. If you're scoring a lot, you're going to have a high shooting percentage when you're scoring a lot in a small cluster. If you look deeper at the full season numbers, I see signs of legitimate breakout. Okay, so he's converting 12.2% of his shots. That, in terms of his career norms, that's totally normal. It's not like, like the outlier numbers is when William Carlson scores on more than 20% of his shots in his 43-goal right. season. You know that's not sustainable, and it crashes the next year. Whereas 12.2%, totally sustainable for a guy like Bjorkstrand, mm -hmm. who's high skill. Uh, and his shot rate is by far the best of his career so far at 5 on 5. That's, to me, the number one indicator. He's getting to the net more. He's getting more opportunities. He's shooting the puck more when he has the puck on his stick rather than pass it. So he's he's putting himself in position to succeed much more now. And that partially could be the result of opportunity, too, playing with better better line mates. But I think that's going to continue for the foreseeable future mm -hmm. because Columbus needs him. So um, considering that, you know, if you asked me two years ago, three years ago, do I think Oliver Bjorkstrand is going to be, a, you know, a 30 goal guy in the NHL I would have said yes so to me now this is confirming what I always thought was going to happen it just took longer than expected